be too much talent to want to be like Basquiat. Basquiat looked like he couldn't even draw. Made a billion dollars off of some chicken scratch. Y'all got to feel me on this, man. Jay-Z is getting a lot of heat out here in these streets. People questioning his sexuality and all that because he's obsessed with Basquiat. This Easter just passed and 50 Cent just dropped another egg, y'all. 50 went ham on Jay-Z on Easter. He called out his sexuality with the Basquiat comparisons and everything. And a lot of people been talking because we look up to Jay. And he come from a completely different element than Basquiat. But now that he's sitting on a billion dollars, it's looking like he's channeling his sexuality, his personality, or whatever the case is. Man, if that brother happy, I'm happy. But according to the streets, people feel a way about it. They want him to stay the same forever. When you got a billion dollars, you ain't got no choice but to be weird. Or else they gonna throw your ass in jail. He probably doing all this just so they can leave him alone. What if he ain't had a Basquiat shit going on and he still had the low fade and all that? He'll be sitting behind bars. But people love Basquiat. And if he the new Basquiat, they gonna leave him alone for that. I know I'm trying to make up excuses for this man, but y'all gotta see this man. Jay-Z is performing for Louis Vuitton, promoting Basquiat and Warhol exhibit. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I could draw better than that. And I'm pretty sure you can draw better than that too. It looked like an elementary school kid got drunk and started doodling on some papers, man. I don't see what the fuss is about or what makes this... Your grandmother could do this in the nursing home. Look at that shit. Fart Simpson with a saxophone in his mouth. Look at the fingers around the sack. Shit is garbage. And people be paying millions of billions of dollars for this shit, man. It's like he put the paintbrush between his butt cheeks and put on that, back that ass up and just let that paint fly, man. And they're like, oh, this is so artistic. This is so great. Probably because he was on that zesty time. And no disrespect to Basquiat. But if this is art, then we all some artists out here. And for Jay-Z, who is a true artist, in my opinion, to be looking up to this dude is baffling to me. Jay-Z's longtime love for Andy Warhol and Jean-Claude Basquiat is being flipped into a tribute concert for the Louis Vuitton Foundation this Friday, marking a rare live performance for Hove these days, man. So he only come out the shadows and grace us with his wonderful presence on some Basquiat shit? Yo, them phone lines open, man. Y'all gonna have to help me out on this one. Cause I'm confused as all hell. Now, y'all know I'm a big Jay-Z fan, a big Jay-Z supporter, and I would never want to disrespect him or the Queen B. but I'm scratching my head with this one. And my question for y'all is, is Jay-Z zesty for being obsessed with Basquiat? That's like if he was obsessed with RuPaul or somebody. Oh and the only time he do concerts is at RuPaul's birthday parties or whatnot. That's like... If I was obsessed with Dennis Rodman and I'd be gawking and hawking every time I see one of his jerseys somewhere. <sighs> Shit garbage. A Rock Nation made an announcement Tuesday in French, no less, revealing that Jay-Z will be performing at the auditorium of the Foundation in Paris. Yep, fire that Watch the Throne track. They gave the announcement in French. Rock Nation, we oui, we oui. bourgeois, wa a zubu, a gizubuti, a bobo, a jay z, a bo, a hobo. Sound like they be throwing up and shit. And shout out to my people in France. A bourgeois, do. <coughs> shit, the only way you gonna be able to live out there is if you got a French poodle and Basquiat dreads, man. Jay Z's performance is intended to. Pump VP's Basquiat Warhol painting for exhibit Obazuazu, which celebrates the two iconic artists 
160 canvases, collaborations, and event. It's also supported by Tiffany Haddish, which both Jay Z and Beyonce had brand deals with. And y'all already know what she was doing with the little kids, but now Hove has been indexed his rhymes with Warhol and Basquiat bars for decades. Now this show will be nothing short of an event of Grand Gala Guadu. All this shit is zesty, man. Niggas in Paris with them tight ass pants on, walking down the street with high heels on and shit. Even the beat was zesty. Dun 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 dun. Ball so hard, motherfuckers want to find me. Motherfuckers can't find me. Too many niggas in the line behind me. And 50 of all people got the nerd to be calling somebody zesty man when he did the candy shop and the, the other shit when the chick beat him and his shirt came off of him and he had the big breast oiled up with olivia people was calling him zesty back in the day the neck movement the swag the way he had tyreek sitting on his lap in power when he licked his lips when ghost took his shirt off and all that the way he was looking at tommy ass every time he walked by the way he licked his lips out at Dre before he kissed him and shot him in the head, man. I seen power. And that whole show was zesty. What was the nigga, Mulan? He be eating niggas butts with a fork and a knife. And Tasha had a bad wig and Ghost ain't wanna bang her <laughs> because he had a white girl on the side, man. The whole show was fucked up. People could say the same thing about 50. And his mother, on Raising Cane and look like a praying mantis and all that. Oh but don't nobody want to say nothing about 50, man. Yo, listen to what he said about Jay-Z, man. Right. And I'm like, that's when I start saying crazy, the saying fuck? crazy stuff, because I look and I go, oh, that should be going, right? And so so you, you, you image yourself after a gay painter. Oh my Big goodness. homie wanted to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with so this. So now look, what I'm saying to you is, look, when you start looking at, it's, it, that's not mine, that's theirs, they're hard for it, right? But when you look at, M is looking at the entire legacy. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, like with, with M, Tell me, tell, me, tell me how you do it. So, so, put your back into it. Oh, boom, 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 do it. Baby girl, just move that thing, baby. Let's be real, man. Since we talking about people, and he got the audacity to go at Jay like that, man. Then we got to talk about 50 Cent for a little while before we get back on Jay-Z. Because we're going to finish talking about Hove. Because what he doing is very disappointing to a lot of people. But as far as 50 go, let's keep it a beam, man. He made that music for soccer moms and shit. Go, go shorty, it's your birthday. White people love that nonsense. Cause we don't give a fuck, it's not your birthday. That's when Kim Kardashian started swagging out, when 50 came out. I, I can totally do the black thing. His whole career. Now, when he first came out, he was hard, but when he got with Eminem, straight suburb music, and you know it and I know it, and that's why that shit wasn't doing so good after a while. Take you to the candy shop. Got little white kids in the suburbs eating Laffy Taffy, knocking that 50 cent real hard, man. Go, go shorty. People cut that shit down real fast. I don't like nobody talking bad about Jay-Z, man. So if you don't want me to be biased, your best bet is to pick up the phone and let me know how you feel about this, man. Because I'm going to defend this man. He got a billion dollars. What I look like talking crazy about a dude, a brother, man, that got a billion in the bank, man. I ain't going to be able to do it. Do I think he's zesty? I don't think so. I just think he came up on some paper and he decided to explore different stuff. You know, he's groovy, baby. And ain't nothing wrong with that. People talking about 
he ain't really married to Beyonce. People even went so far to say that the Queen Bee was a man. You got haters out here calling her boy Beyonce, talking about she had surrogate mothers for her babies or whatnot. That's what happens when you come up on paper like that. Now, Bosky, I was super duper zesty. I ain't even going front. But the dude Andy Warhol was even more zestier than Bosky. And Jay-Z is a fan of both of them. And that's why people is looking at this whole thing suspect, man. Let me show y'all something real quick. So y'all can get a clear understanding of what's happening here. And why people in the streets don't approve of none of this shit that Jay-Z got going on now, man. Look, look, look at this, y'all. The oddest couple in the world. Look how he holding. He hold. They a couple and all that. This nigga was like 20 something years old. This dude was 60 something years old. And if they lovers, then they lovers, man. If Jay-Z love that, then you know. It is what it is. And this is artistic when you think about it. Old, white, young, black. Straight hair, blonde, nappy hair, black. Hey, I don't know, man. Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp out this motherfucker, man. Club Shay Shay and motherfucking Arnold Schwarzenegger in the face, man. The tag team duo of paint. They talking about Beyonce on drugs. Maybe all that paint in their house got her hallucinating and shit. Walk up in there, got all that Basquiat shit. You ain't even got to do drugs. You see some psychedelic shit like that. Yeah, you're going to be tripping out. This shit look like somebody's let a monkey smoke some crack and gave him a paintbrush, man. Word to my mother be, I'm about to go to, to the damn Dollar Tree. And make a billion dollars on y'all ass, man. Get them little dollar box of crayons. And doodle. Even the picture looking like, man, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck am I? <laughs> His pictures be looking mad that they was even created and shit. I think I'm a, oh, oh, no. <laughs> if these pictures could talk, they would say, burn me. The picture burnt like, uh, uh, I'm ga uh, garbage. Uh. Yo, do y'all think this art or, or what y'all think about this, man? A mermaid with three titties? With a dead rat in this. Get this, get this, get this shit out of here, man. Turn that off, man. Shit, hot garbage. Y'all gotta listen to that Jay Z and y'all let me know if y'all think he changed or not. Cause people talking about he ain't the same hoe and he ain't the same person he once was because of all this weird stuff going on, man. I beg to differ. I'm gonna be a fan forever. But listen to him and look at his body language. Yeah. Is that different. scary, Jay? To like, oh, yeah. The most, the most. Yeah, it's like, you know, to be vulnerable in that space, you know, after you've done all this work. Right. You, and you don't have to, right? Your right. ego will tell you, I don't, I don't gotta do that, right. you know? Right. But then, you know, no one else heals. So many super gangster and rappers come to me like, yo, thank you for that. You know, they could tell me on the side, yo, <laughs> you, you saved my relationship. <laughs> you, know, like, like, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it, it was, it was needed. Like, and like, even with my mom, it changed our, the dynamic of our relationship. When she first heard that song, she got super defensive and just was like, you no, can't put this not, absolutely not. Wow. Yeah. That's and then, a full circle to get her to be on it. Yeah. And then what happened, that she, she, I was in LA, she flew out to LA, then she left and was like, no. We talked, you know, we talked through it. And then when she flew back to L.A., she had written a poem. She wrote that on the plane. It came with the, like, American Airlines, like, a little <laughs> notepad. She oh, I get it, y'all. See, see, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all not understanding, man. Y'all judging this man, 50 judging this man, and not even understanding what's going on. 
and I ain't trying to talk about his moms or nothing, but for the people that didn't know, um, his mom's had came out and admitted that, you know, she like other women and all that. So Jay-Z is very sensitive when it comes to that, to the community and shit. And you can't knock him for that because if he don't accept that community, that would be like him not accepting his moms. So by him embracing Basquiat is his way of embracing the situation that's going on with his fam and what's going on with the world. So y'all judging him too harshly out there. Yo, hello, who this is, man? Man, get off Jay-Z nuts, man. Listen, man, the only people we recognize is Jesus, man. Jay-Z ain't nobody, man. Beyonce ain't nobody either. You know oh what I'm saying? Goodness. Stop praising them, homeboy. What, we what? On Come on, man. We on the record Come, Come on, man. Come on, man. What's all this we hatred all about? Why you got to hate on that brother? He made a billion dollars and he got dreadlocks, man. If that ain't keeping the real, I don't know what is, man. Man, who cares about his money? You know what I'm saying? I want to recognize Jesus Christ, man. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z and Beyonce ain't nobody, man. Hey, but I respect you, man. I ain't trying to, you know, disrespect you. you man, you would already disrespecting me, homie. And that's why we got all this smoke and all that. Talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce ain't nobody like they ain't been in the music industry dominating Grammys back to back. I, the audacity of you to call up here and say they ain't nobody when they clearly somebody. Man, listen, they find somebody to you. They ain't nobody to me. Not Jesus Christ somebody. You know what I'm saying? I recognize him. I don't recognize no Jay-Z and Beyonce. I don't give a damn about them. Who gives? Come on, brother. You talking all this. You probably ain't even been to church since I don't know when. Talking about Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior. Get out of here, man. And I ain't hang up on him. He hung up because I was going to let his ass have it, man. It's so disgusting how people don't want to celebrate celebrities that need to be celebrated, man. People want to dog Beyonce out for being into her spirituality or whatnot. They want to say, oh, she the devil, she evil and all this type of stuff, man, because she decided to be spiritual, man. It's like you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. People don't want you to be happy. You got people in the ghetto ain't got two nickels to rub together talking about how you ain't nobody. But they'll click on the video about you or listen to your music just to talk crazy about you, man. And it's sickening. People be dragging this woman through the mud so bad. Talking about, even her own father be talking about her real bad, man. It gotta be hard. People thinking that she got it easy because she got money. That's not always the case, yo. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, Debbie. What's going on, Debbie? How you feeling over there? I'm hanging. How are you? Man, I'm trying to enlighten the people on just because somebody got a lot of money and they change their ways don't make them zesty all the time. How you feel about that? Do you feel like Jay-Z is zesty because he's obsessed with Andy Warhol and Basquiat? I think he's obsessed with everyone. And will do anybody he can get his hands on. Damn, you think he a freak like that? Yep. You don't? I mean, what would make you come to that conclusion? Was it the song with the Michael Jackson samples? Like, I don't get how people that never met this man can judge him so harshly like that. Just look at 50 Cent, look at Usher, look at everybody else that's been with him and are now coming out against him. More money, more problems. That's what happens right. when you make it to the top. People ain't going to love you when you're successful like that. You're going to have more haters than people that love you. And a lot of times, your greatest fans be your biggest haters out there. Yeah, but when you got J-Lo telling everybody what actually happened when she was with him, that's a whole nother story. We can't even hear you because you got all that stuff on in the background. I would love to know what you're talking about, but it's hard to understand because you watching the stream while you watching the stream and you talking on the stream. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to call in and just say that I agree with you guys. and that this No doubt, man. Thank you so much for your phone call. It'd be the most crackiest people 
talking crazy about billionaires, man. Be people that can't even figure out basic math and no disrespect to her or whatever. <clears throat> the biggest critics, I ain't even gonna talk back because y'all can say what y'all wanna say and I'm asking for y'all opinions. So I ain't trying to shoot down y'all opinions. If that's how y'all feel about it, talking about Jay-Z want to have sex with everybody he come across and all this BS, then that's on you, man. We can um agree to disagree or whatever the case is, but I don't agree with this shit right here, though. <clears throat> he was like Michael Jackson and Jim Carrey in the mask had a baby, man. Andy Warhol. I'm about to share something with y'all, and it's going to drive y'all crazy. Type that in, Reg. Hold on. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, this name is G, bro. Oh, what's going on, G? How you feeling, brother, man? Yo, I'm chilling. Yo, what's up? What's the topic? Man, we talking about this dude, Bosky, I selling these pictures for hundreds of millions of dollars, and Jay-Z is effectuated with this dude, but there's only one problem. Bosky, I was super duper, uber zesty, and Jay-Z wearing his hair like him and doing all this stuff just like this man. Now people thinking Jigga is zesty because he's a fan of a zesty man. Yo, Jigga, nah, he ain't zesty, bro. I, look, look, people just be hating. I don't know if he's demonic. I know he be putting up that rock nation and he be doing all the Illuminati symbolisms and shit. Mm -hmm. He might be demonic, but I wouldn't say he's gay or zesty. He's just showing homage to a great black artist. That's all it is. What exactly is being demonic, though? Like, what makes Jay-Z... Where is this coming from to where people be like, oh, Jigga the devil and all that? I ain't never seen... If anybody, the devil is Lil Uzi. Yeah. <laughs> You read about that. All right. But, but, you know, you already know, bro. The Rock. You know, all the little Illuminati, the cover in the eyes, the checkerboards, and all that shit. I don't know if that shit's real, but that's why people are thinking he's demonic. You know to what it is, bro. And not to cut you off, but this is what it is, man. People been doing that shit since forever. I could pull up some shit where the Jackson 5 was throwing up them rock symbols and all that bullshit. The only difference is Jay Z made it popular. You know? Yeah. It made, he made it cool. Like, they do that stuff all the time. You ain't even got to be in the entertainment business. You got professional blacks that have been to college that join the fraternities that be throwing up them hand signs and all that. It really ain't even that big of a deal. But since he made it popular and people started to catch on to what people do inside of secret societies, now it's a taboo. And anything that ain't Jesus to a lot of people is a taboo. And that once it's a taboo, it's automatically the devil. You already know. And you already know they're going to hate regardless whatever a successful black person is doing. You already know they are. They aren't going to try to paint that as evil or negative. Right. If we got a secret handshake, that's our secret handshake. But once we make the shit public and people don't understand what the hell we doing, they're going to be like, oh, they on demon time. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. That, that's my opinion about it, man. You can't. Matter of fact, let me pull up some shit real quick so the people can understand what I'm talking about, man. Hold on. But in the meantime, you don't think he's zesty at all for being a fan of Basquiat? Nah, 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 nah. Niggas just hate him. That's all that is. They just hating on Jay-Z. Are you a fan of Jay-Z? Now, don't be saying this stuff because you think I'm a fanboy for Jay-Z. If you want to speak your truth, just speak your truth, brother. I'm a Nas fan. That's all I have to say. Shit. Nas was the one talking about Illuminati for my uh, mind, soul, and my body and all that. What about him? You right. You right. No doubt, man. This nigga, Michael Jackson was throwing up the rock in the, in the 50s and all that. People ain't say nothing about that. But people didn't really know. You know, we got the internet now. So man. people more privy to the knowledge. Yeah. So they think they are. That's the only difference, bro. People think they more privy to it, but the truth is, it ain't nothing new, man. Now, are you a fan of somebody that's zesty? I don't got nothing against nobody homosexual. But nah. Damn, bro. But why not, though? 
it's just you know I, I don't really I don't really vibe to the little Nas X's and all that you know or the what's the other dude Saucy Santana I don't vibe to that shit bro but you, I don't got nothing against it I don't got nothing against them bro you don't have nothing against it but you don't vibe to it so you won't listen to a Saucy Santana song because he's zesty nah if he come out with something hot I'll listen to it but I'm not gonna go out of my way to listen to that shit so even if he do a video with the um the skeet skeet pouring down his face and all that, you gonna watch that? Oh my goodness. Nah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> snutted he somebody snutted in all up his nose and he was crying about it. You bugging. <laughs> he be yeah, having his I fucked with you. I fucked with you, Sean. He be having his you. nails dead and all that. Why are you hating on the boss? <laughs> Yo, chill, bro. <laughs> Yo, people can say what they want to say about this dude, but at least he out in the open with it. It's a lot yeah, of dudes. Yeah, not hiding it like Diddy. Like Diddy. Yeah, it be dudes that be feeling just like this, but they ain't bold enough to be out there with the shits, man. Yeah, I'll say that I respect that man more than I respect Diddy. No, hold on. What you got to say bad about Diddy, bro? Now, I know you heard all the rumors about Diddy, bro. Come on. You gonna have to enlighten me, man, because I thought Diddy was a stand-up dude. Look, I'm, I'm gonna let the next caller take this, bro. Yo, it is what it is, man. Yo, thank you so much for your phone call. Don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it, man. Well, let me talk to y'all real fast, man. <clears throat> People quick to point the finger because a brother have on a pink suit at award shows or whatnot. Like, pink is a color that a man ain't supposed to wear. But y'all be listening to camera on all the time. His son kissed him on his neck, oh though. Who does that? Some weird ass shit in Hollywood. I know that much. His son look like one of the grimiest niggas. He gonna be worse than his father. Diddy part two. He on demon time. I can already tell, man. I would not do business with his ass. He bang your baby mother. Send her home to you. And she acting like ain't nothing happening all that, man. So if I come up on the Billy, matter of fact, when I come up on the Billy, I already know it's going to be hate. I already got a whole lot of hate, man. And I ain't do nothing to nobody. Jay-Z ain't never did nothing to nobody. Sweet Beyonce ain't never did nothing to nobody. Beyonce ain't never smack a bitch. Ain't never did none of that. She ain't never robbed nobody. But she the most hated woman in America. The beehive turned on her ass. Now she got a bunch of bee stings in her booty. And speaking of her booty... It's I like the old Beyonce. And I ain't talking about the one from back in the day. I'm talking about the one right now. The old Beyonce, man. It's like she get better with time. She like fine wine. She ain't never had them curves like that when she was young. But now that she grown and she mature, had them babies and whatnot, her body is just flourishing. She spread it out. And I'm loving every last minute of that. And Jay-Z is a lucky man for being with such a beautiful red bone. Even when she got the braided finger waves, that shit be illustrious. You ain't never seen a chick in the ghetto with braided finger waves with the braided baby heads, man. That's only some shit y'all say can pull off. And y'all still want to make it seem like she ain't the queen of hip hop and R&B. She the female R. Kelly when it come to that music shit. They said Chloe Bailey album flopped like a motherfucker, man. That shit went double brick. And I could tell y'all why her album flopped, man. Let me show y'all something real quick. <clears throat> what y'all women fail to realize, man, this sleazy, cheesy, booty wiggling shit can only get you so far, man. She came out the gate with them clappers flapping and wonder why her shit flopped. Whenever your first music video and your coochie flop, your album gonna flop, man. You gotta tease a nigga a little bit. 
wait until your third album to show everybody the cheese between your cheeks, man. She came out the gate on some hoochie shit. Like, oh, I'm like the light-skinned Megan Thee Stallion. When they get a load of these cheeks, I'm going to go platinum. Who convinced her? If she would have left it to the imagination, I would have bought two copies. But no, she wanted to be a thotty waddy 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 waddy. Ain't that how the song go? She lowered her stop. Now she just cheap booty out here, man. I bet you if her sister come out with an album tomorrow, it's going to go platinum because she kept it classy. Her sister leave a whole lot to the imagination, man. And that's why she wifey material. Chloe, on the other hand, not so much. And I ain't trying to dog her out or talk bad about her or nothing, but. And I'm a little upset with Beyonce, too. Because she was under her tutelage. And she threw her out there to the wolves, man. Hold on, yo, Reg, pull that up about her album sales. And how them, them, off, them shits flop, man. Matter of fact, let's see her album cover. Look at her on her. Look, come on, look at this shit, y'all. She on the album cover with her booty hanging out and her boobies hanging out. And wonder why ain't nobody buy that shit. You can't put this up in Walmart with her butt cheeks wiggling all over the store. I know it sounds like I'm hating on her and all that, but I ain't. Yo, I seen some weird shit on the Corey Holcomb show last night. Think about making a video about it, but um. That's my dude. Now I don't really I got love for Corey Holcomb, but I, I don't know if y'all seen it, but it was kind of weird. Beyonce blamed for Chloe Bailey's poor album sales said, ain't that your artist? So they blaming Beyonce for this shit. <clears throat> Beyonce don't give a damn. Her album won like five Grammys. She don't give a shit about no Chloe Bailey, man. Y'all women gonna learn. This shit don't work no more. Y'all gonna have to figure something else out. But that's Negro here no there. We ain't come here to talk about that. We came here to talk about Jay-Z with these paintings and people calling him Zesty, man. Me personally, he can't do no um, harm in my eyes. Look, look at this, y'all. Jay-Z snaps up. $4.5 million Basquiat painting. Is that supposed to be some penises? And that looked like it got a little bit of semen coming out of that. Nigga. What part of this? Wh where is the $4 million worth of work? Is this some type of sublim? He can't even draw a straight line out this bitch. You got real artists out there that can reimagine and redraw some shit. Photo realism. You got tattoo artists out there that draw like 80 times better. Ain't nobody trying to get none, none of they shit for no $4.5 million, man. And that's what leads me to believe it's something deeper to this whole Warhol, Andy Warhol, Basquiat shit, man. I think it got more to do with their relationship, then it got to do with their artwork, man. You y'all wanna know what I think it is, man? Okay, let me get this set up. And I'm gonna tell y'all what I think it is, man. This what I think it is. I think when it's an industry that black people don't dominate in, they pick a token to represent for us and the shit. They knew the shit was horrible. But for all of the other artists, all the other black artists that make incredible artwork, that's not going to cut it. If it don't look like this, then we not buying. So people confuse like shit. I could do that. But you ain't going to be able to get ahead because he's our guy. So all the other black artists this disenfranchised a whole lot of people, man. That's
that's like on YouTube, it be the niggas with the worst videos that be getting the most views and shit. And then you got the dudes that really be putting in the work, trying to make something intriguing. They be getting like two or three views. But the nigga that fought it on the camera get like a million views and all that, man. So this is what put a damper on the black art movement, man. Instead of raising the standards, they lowered the standards. It's sort of like the housing market and shit. As soon as you can afford a nice house, they turn that neighborhood into the ghetto. And now you ain't got nowhere to live, man. I know I could have came up with a better analogy than that, but there's no way possible that this shit can. I know I sound like a hater and Jay-Z probably can explain why that's not the case. Is that Maxwell? They be having doppelgangers and shit in Hollywood, oh y'all. Wait a motherfucking minute, man. They tried to pull a fast one on me and y'all know I got them hot documentations. And if anybody in the comment section doing something goofy, I'm the moderator. And once the video is over, that's when I start blocking all the clowns. So don't worry about the mods and shit. I'm going to do that. I like to wait till late night, roll me a blunt and get to blocking all them goofies and shit. And then the next time I go live, you be like, whatever happened to that clown? That's because I blocked their ass. Okay, Max. Well, the singer. Put him in real quick. Cause I swear him and Bosky, I gotta be the same person, man. Hold up. Oh my goodness. That's the same nigga. I knew something was up with that. Do a little something, something shit. Cause with them paintings, that wasn't no hard work. That was a little something, something. If it's cool, sipping wine and shit, doing a little something, something. Ain't even put no hard work into it. Damn. This nigga went from being a painter to an R&B singer. He look like if he go to jail, he gonna be right at home up in there with them niggas, man. They wait. They waiting on him to get there. Like I did some time. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Got that zesty look. Man, I knew the video was going to be zesty, man. Somebody skeeted in his eye. He had to wear a patch to the damn um, award show, man. This nigga in the, on the beach with, them, with the BBL on deck, man. The Lenny Kravitz little brother and all that. He looked like he snatched a wedgie out his ass while he was on stage, man. Like, can somebody please get me some aspirin? My ass is killing me. He couldn't even do the show. Like, oh, oh. But traumatized all on stage, man. I know people love Maxwell. Like, ooh, it's cold out here. It's cold. Ooh. He took that same paper, went home, and did a Basquiat painting with it. <laughs> Yo, hello, who this is, man? I'm Victoria. Oh my God, it's Big Vicky. What's up, man? Yeah, how you doing, boo? I'm over here chilling. How you feeling over there, my man? I'm all right, I'm good. Okay, oh, that's what morning. it is, man. That's what... Yo, I got a bone to pick with you. You called up here the other night acting like you knew me personally, talking about I got I juicy you. lips and all that. Where the hell I you know me from? I know you from uh, about 10 years ago. 10 years? 
Ten years ago. I told you ago. this years ago. I told you this years. You ago. said I was your Don't boyfriend in college or some bullshit like that. We we were never together. We were never. Together. Don't 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 do me. Okay, I got a good memory. A good memory. Oh. Ten years ago in Seattle. Okay, that makes sense. But not was, in Seattle. It, well, wherever it was, I wasn't there. But that's Negro here no there. My question for you is, do you think Jay-Z, I've, I've, I've never been dark skinned except for in the a hot summer in Florida. You are dark. You're a, you're a beautiful chocolate. I'm you're a chocolate. Oh, okay, well, you keep believing that, sister. But my question for you is, is Jay-Z zesty for being obsessed with Basquiat? Because everybody knows he's a flamboyant artist and jay-z has been modeling himself after this man for years so do you feel like jigger man is zesty for being a fan of this no. guy no not at all not at all not at all i think that jay-z is bl black excellent mm -hmm. he models things that are great and that is profitable yeah so. and basquiat is an artist so true that and i'm an artist you are artist as well so you put together pieces of art I used to draw a little bit back in my day, but I stopped. Um, I'm gonna rev it up again at some point when I feel inspired enough. But no doubt, yeah, no. You, when you into art, you you're not zesty. It's just it's. it's so you are saying that's what comes along with the territory? Like once you start getting into something, you start picking up the characteristics of it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> if you into art and that's your thing. It's gonna come off as zesty because art is a zesty type of thing. Not necessarily zesty, because there's a lot of men, even masculine men, you know, putting out art because it's just a talent. It's just a talent. I knew a guy who used to. He was in. We were in the same grade and mm -hmm. he drew faces like from memory, and I couldn't. He just I couldn't do it. I couldn't. He could. I'm looking at um some black artists in their artwork and i must admit this shit is extremely zesty like this dude with the it's it's why very does, all of this shit is zesty why does art have to be zesty when it's so many people i think even slaves were artists and white people stole their work i'm we starting to come to a conclusion here and connect some dots um people that's about that artistic lifestyle is about alternate, abstract, you know, different, bizarre type of things. <laughs> we we are the tastemakers that y'all don't acknowledge. The okay. taste you, makers. Did you know that Chris Brown was an artist? Like an art, art, artsy dude. Like creative nigga. I didn't know that. So Chris Brown actually does artwork? Mm-hmm. He danced. And painted at the same time. I saw the guy. I never knew that, man. I'm over here looking yeah. for some Chris Brown artwork and um, ain't nothing popping up. But maybe you heard that from somewhere, you know? No, I've seen it. I know him. His style, his swag. I, artist to artist. I know what he, he, he So he you just art. assume he an artist because of his swag? No. He's actually done graffiti art. And I've seen him do, like, art when he was dancing. Like, he danced and had a whole paint bucket and paint and danced. Hold on. Yes, I do remember you. So Chris Breezy be hitting them with the paintbrushes and all that shit. I would have never mm -hmm. known that he was mm -hmm. into this type of stuff. Yeah, he's very creative all the way around. He's not just a dope, like, R&B artist, hip-hop artist. He is actually that dude. Like, he, he is an artist. Like, he does that shit. That's amazing, man. I think that's a beautiful thing for uh, people to, of color to be into artwork. But my theory still remains the reason why Basquiat was bumped to the top was to overshadow the real artists out there that actually got some skills to make it 10 times harder for a prominent black artist to topple Andy Warhol. You put Basquiat next to Warhol and try to make them compatible, that's automatically going to put other competition beneath a war hall they'd be like oh this guy is a great great artist but he doesn't have nothing on basquiat it's two totally different genres like of art so like if you knew so 
Bob Gap different, Andy Warhol's pop part, and then you got, um, if you ever heard Ray, Renee McGree and, you know, Salvador Dali, those are surrealist artists. So they're like dreamlike. The nightmares that you have, they draw that. That's like surreal. if it was a basketball competition, right? And you got mm -hmm. the best white basketball player like Larry Bird, and he's just the greatest mm -hmm. ball player ever. And then they take somebody like Delonte West and say he's Andy Warhol's competition or um, Larry Bird's competition. Then shit, that will undermine people like Jordan and LeBron James. Yeah, it would because that's just that's just you know, you're he's not even hitting like a lot of the records that even LeBron or Larry Bird had. And I'm not that big of a basketball person, but I know enough to know LeBron hits, like, a lot of fucking records in Larry Bird's up to do. Like, we gonna take one of our greatest and put one of your worst together. Right. That way, you know, d d you can never be on the level of a fucking Andy Warhol because your shit garbage, but we gonna put you on a pedestal anyway. I miss you. I miss you too, ma. And I'm so glad you called. I was waiting by the phone. I wasn't even going to go lie tonight, but I thought to myself, maybe Vicky will call in and we'll have a nice conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you crazy, girl. You crazy. You crazy. And I'm crazy about you. Did you know that? No, I didn't think so. Mm. Well, now you know. You I ain't even got to think about it. You just know. Well, I mean, you know, you be acting. You be acting. I be acting. You be acting. I don't act. I, you don't I, act. I'm you don't, I don't do that. 24-7, goofy, 24-7. Come on. Now you over here throwing the booty and all that. I'm trying to do a five-star presentation, do and you flirting I like I ain't over here trying to be a professional. I appreciate I you, Ma. And if you really was about that life, you would hit me up on social media booty. and quit with all this. You ain't got no booty to throw, but that's Negro here nor there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we already knew that. Them sack of bones over there. Okay, mm -hmm. let's keep playing, okay? Let's keep playing. It's your, it's your world, man. It's your I, world. But I, I love you, my real child. <laughs> all right, talk to you later. Hmm. All right, baby, I'm going to holler at you later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But back to what I was saying, man. If Jay-Z a fan of him, he got his reasons for being a fan of him. I ain't mad at Jay-Z, but I'm mad at 50 for talking bad about Jay-Z just because he trying to express himself. You know, and ain't nothing wrong with expressing yourself, man. If that's what you want to do, and that's how you're trying to live your life, what the hell going on with my computer, man? Shit all bootlegged or whatnot. I don't see no problem with it. Yo, y'all gotta listen at this real quick, though. I'm like, what the fuck? I think every athlete or every or anybody that's performed knew exactly what you meant. Like, you just, it's just, that's just like saying you're gonna be seven again. Exactly. You're never gonna right. be seven again. Oh, it's right. just like, as you mature, you gotta figure out how to use your mind and your body. When you get older, too, I think, like, so you go from A to B, you know? And, like, when you're 20, you know, you know one way to get there fast and, you know, quick. But then, like, when you get 30, 40, 50, you, you know how to get to A to B, but you now know how to do it different ways, you know? Like, there's different ways of doing it. So that's kind of, like, how I feel like when I'm on the court. It's like, yeah, I know what I'm capable of doing. I know, like, what feels like my foundation. But, like, do I need to run around and chase this little kid? <laughs> no, I don't need to. Like, right. I love playing basketball, but, I mean, we know we can't do that forever. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can. <laughs> Did you ever think you still yeah. be playing ball and you about to be 37? No, nah, because when I came in, like, look, the, the NBA... Look, look at these niggas, yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 She all up them niggas' booties. Oh, my goodness. Legs crossed. Extra zesty. Sitting with Jay-Z talking about Basquiat. LeBron be getting cheeky for them cameras. And his homie be getting cheeky, too. See y'all up between their yams and shit.
I don't understand it, man. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. Talking about he don't never want to lead the NBA. Too much, too many of them young boys up in there. LeBron smack you on your ass even when you have a bad game. This nigga got with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. And we only thought that Chris Bosh was the zesty one, man. Come to find out, Dwayne Wade was zesty too. People was talking mad shit about Chris Bosh. They was the village people of basketball and all that. LeBron looking like we about to do it. The Miami Heat. Them boys was on fire. The hot boys. Like we're going to be so hot. Like we burning up. Oh, child. Oh, child. We burning up. It's getting hot in her. So take off all your motherfucking clothes. I'm going to be the three. You going to be the six. And I'm going to be the one. Oh! They all got their hands on their hips. Oh the Diva Squad. Look how LeBron pressed up on that man in all these pictures, man. Pushed up on his homie like that. Like, I'm not the zesty one. He's the zesty one. Like, which one of y'all most zesty? A Bosch like him. Dwayne Wade like, no, nah, it's this nigga around him. They both pointing at LeBron. Like, nah, nah, it's doing this dumb niggas, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Man. But that's Negro here, nor there. Let me know in the comment section, man. Leave them comments in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about it. I don't think nothing wrong with being zesty, though. I don't get on here to bash people. I got respect for the people that's out in the open with it that don't give a fuck. You get all the respect in my book when you just... You living your truth, man. I'm going to love you to death because you loving yourself, man. You can't hate somebody that love themselves, but it's easy to hate on somebody that's closeted in it with the shit. And I'm not saying LeBron is closeted in it with nothing. I don't, he a married man, but that ain't never stopped nothing. But when I can see y'all between your booty cheese, bro, and you, you on your, your barbershop shit, that ain't cool, bro. Yeah, like, projection of, of, of life expectancy was like four and a half years. I definitely thought I would be playing more than, than 22 years of age, but... But you definitely think about now how much... You definitely contemplate how much longer... Yeah, how much longer, yeah, yeah for sure. I'm definitely on the... I'm definitely, you know, you know your roller coaster. I'm... Hold on, ain't that the homie that's uh, messing with the chick Adele? Hold on, yeah. I know they ain't the same dude. Adele, boy friend is it rich paul got him a biggie biggie he take her to the basketball games and all that what is... oh homie wildin he show up to the b-ball game with adele she got the louis v on all the day they balling like that She looking like her mother finally seen her with a black man like, eee! like, hey, mom. He looking like, oh, shit. He don't wife her up, booed her up, chinchilla her ass up. Soon as he get on, leave your ass for a white girl. Look, they got a big ass house and everything doing the damn thing. I can't even be mad. She looking like Swish. Hold up, man. Kissing her all in the mouth. And you know she got that paper, too. 
It is what it is, man. Yo, since we on the subject of Rich Paul, y'all need to see this. Hold on, what's the nigga name? Um, is it Drew Holiday? I ain't even have to type in. All I did was type in JR and his ass popped up. This nigga. He with Meghan Markle out this bitch. Oh my goodness. Ain't she supposed to be with Prince Harry? He looking like the nigga from Get Out. All he needed some teardrops coming down his eyes, man. Get out. Shit, his ass stuck now. God, yo, just don't cut the lights out, man. The fuck? Oh my goodness. All you gonna see is them eyeballs and them teeth. Shout out to Drew Holiday, man. He doing the damn thing, yo. And he ill with them basketball skills too. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh my goodness. No, this man ain't in the bed with the dog. That dog is not the fuck out. That's too much love for a dog, man. He's spooning her and she's spooning the damn dog. And the dog looking like, I got your bitch, that guy. <laughs> Come on, man. Drew Holiday. I thought he was a dude from the block. He living that suburban life and all that. Looking like one of them informants that be in the hood talking that shit until he off his mission, then he go back home, man. A basketball snitch. They got a big ass piece of sushi with some, um, some cranberries and shit. Don't know black people eat no shit like that. Got a big ass thing of sushi with some blackberries on the side, man. Somebody all smack his ass, yo. In the kitchen making cooking and shit for this chick, man. Then got the nerve to fix his father a plate. Look at his father. He got like he got three plates. Oh, I love my son. Oh man, feed me another plate, baby. He won another plate, even though he ain't finished the first plate, man. The brothers don't know how to act when they get some money. Get you a white woman. Being there cooking them grits and shit. And the only reason why I'm talking crazy about it, because I'm a little jealous, man. You let me down. I thought he was a real one from out the off the block and all that. Drew Holiday missed games to care for his prey. This nigga missing games to, to Oh my goodness. A cupcake and on his boo. I ain't gonna be able to play my baby. She praying to my baby. My baby. My baby. I'm sorry, guys. We ain't gonna be able to make the play. Oh, shit. I ain't know that about it. I'm over here talking shit. Yo, yo. Shout out to him and his beautiful wife, man. No doubt. I'm talking mad crazy about his wife and she was going through complications. Yo, Drew Holiday, I love you, brother. Keep doing your thing. Do, do she got a friend? She got a sister or something? That's all I need to know. Yo, it's other ones in the NBA, too. Hold on, y'all. NBA players with white wives. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Type. Yo, I'm about to get out of here in a minute. I just wanted to see this real quick. Goddamn, the whole NBA got them all fine-ass Woody on their arms. Michael Joy and got him one. God damn. Shit, he sure know how to pick him, boy. Um, hold on. Mike Conley got one too? I thought he was a real deal, brother. Nope. Oh, 
Chris Bosch got him a little Latina flavor. Wow. They, there go Drew Holiday again with his, his baby moms and all that. And if they ain't got one of them, they got a hood rat on their arms, man. Tim Duncan. Hold on. Timmy, Timmy D got one too? Hold on. Kevin Garnett got that Asian flavor. Yo, these dudes is not keeping it real, yo. Hold on. Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp got one too? Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, he didn't. The 2023 Matumbo got one, man. He the new Mukembe Matumbo. And he out here with um the um Ariana Grande and whatnot. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, good evening, my favorite YouTuber. I couldn't let you go without saying hello and good night. Now, how am I have a good night and you call up here sounding like that, ma? And I don't mean no disrespect. Oh, I'm, and I don't feel disrespected. I'm, you know, like last time I, you know, chimed in too late and you let me have it. Well, I'm sorry. It's the same thing tonight. I happen to um, channel surf. I saw that you were live. I'm like, again? Okay. Got them snot so bubbles all in the back of your throat. We you need you to swallow uh, something and all that. What are you talking? Oh, my God. <clears throat> is that better hell no no okay now you talking about is jay-z zesty for being obsessed with baskets um uh, jay-z don't have no reason to be jealous of anything the richest black man in the world <laughs> you know what i mean like what they trying to build up now sean oh my goodness you know what oh. man Sister, what's your P.O. box and all that? I got to send you something, man. Got to send it to you tonight. Well, I, I would love to give you my total home address, but I'll not going to do it over the phone. Uh, and I'll be getting, you know, but you you willing to do all that, yeah. though? I sure will, but... You, you will let me slide through? I sure would. It's like that? It's like that for you. Well, why are you playing these games and all? I could have been over there. I'm not playing any games. You're a busy man. Every night you go going live doing your thing. I'm so proud of you. No doubt, man. That's what it is. I was going to send you some juicy juice or something to help with your situation, oh man. Yeah. You know. You and your juicy juice. Yeah, get you to sip on some, clear your esophagus out and whatnot. My esophagus is fine, Mr. Blaze. Yeah, Blazing. no doubt, man. Yo, are uh -huh. you a fan of Basquiat's work? Because to me, shit look like garbage. Tell me about it, you know? That's what I'm saying. He doesn't have a reason to be jealous of anything. What is the Oh, I miss love and adore you, too. Oh, It's not a day to go by that I don't think of you. Sister, who are you talking to? You. Oh, I thought you... Because where, where that... That was random. It's, what's going on, man? Huh? Well, you put on the screen, I miss you, I adore you. You know, my, my favorite screen set for you. So I'm just letting you know right back at you, oh Big Daddy. Oh, my God. I don't know whether to be turned on or disappointed. I'm a little bit of both oh and all God. that. But, oh, yeah, what's your favorite Basquiat painting? Like, which one of them pictures you felt like he really did his thing? Um, I really can't say because I really don't like none of them. I'm sorry. That's just me. No, it's not just you. Anybody with a brain that could see this <laughs> right. will be like, what I'm, the fuck is this? Thank you. I mean, yeah, it doesn't do anything for me at all, you know? And uh, But I'm not going to lie, though. The uh, photo you had up um, when you were advertising that um, you'll be on later on tonight, because I did see that earlier. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Jay-Z um, with his dreadlocks, you know, looking all whatever. And he's um, leaning up against the wall, posing like, <laughs> I'm like, they can't be Jay-Z. Oh, no, they got him too. 
Yeah, man, uh, it's a crazy world out here, but I'm not here to condemn nobody for living the way they live. But we used to knowing Jay Z as the hardcore street rap, uh, dope dealer. All day. Yeah, all day long with the street talk or whatnot. But now things are different. He's in a different lane. He's uh, you know, he route he rose above all of that. But the route that he going, a lot of people not comfortable with it because Basquiat was on some old other shit back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. But when well, you he- think about it. Basquiat was before his time because even when he was on that Zesty Zesty, it wasn't popular back then like it is now. So they couldn't say he revolutionary because he was on the time that people on now way back then. Everybody got the dreads and shit now. He was doing that back in the late 80s, early 90s. So I could see why Mm -hmm. people would consider him legendary. And plus, nowadays people putting out hot garbage the music trash, the shit that people be talking about is artistic, is hot mm-hmm. garbage. But he was doing everything that people doing today, mm-hmm. way back then. So he was definitely yeah. ahead of his time. Dang, I sure was. You know, I really wasn't keeping up with this fella, but I don't like that style. It looks, oh. I mean, Jay Z looked better when he had like no hair, the fade, whatever. Like when he started in that movie, uh, what was the State Property? With Beanie Single? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looked better with that look, you know? These dreads got him looking kind of crazy. But, you know, when you're in that million, billion-dollar category, you just going to just, like, who cares how I look? This is how I look. Yeah, you could do whatever you want to do. It ain't like he got to show up to work or kiss nobody's ass. If he want to have mm-hmm. dreads all over the place, Jigga can afford to do that, you know? He should. And he's doing it. <laughs> I ain't mad so at him. Doing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's he doing his thing out here, man. He he keeping yeah. it a buck because we know so many people of color that come up on money and chop their whole goddamn face up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for instance, um, I saw an interview with um, uh, Cardi B, you know, regretting the um, all the surgeries that she had and everything. She thought, regretting it now and a lot of people i mean look what um like china just did you know and she you looks amazing now on her. yeah i remember i called in about that you know proud of her doing her thing her mom had you know a problem yeah her you mother know, like was I hating said. on her but she mm-hmm. looked damn good she looked like a new woman i will really wife her up right now but you can't tell me <laughs> she ain't getting no work done on top she got some different type of work done you know to look yeah. this damn beautiful you know what i'm saying she looks fantastic you know she really really good. and i hope she feel as good as she look you know because a lot of these uh, people on tv they fool us with their glamorous you know uh style and look and smiling for the camera and when they off camera they're somewhere boo-hoo crying because the, what they had to go through and what they had to do to be where they're at today they have to live with that on and off camera and you know she caught herself before she went too far with the shit because she was on her way to being to where she couldn't correct her shit she stopped just in time and saved her face man so that's good for her yeah that's very good for her and, and you were um, an older woman and everything. I don't know how old, but I would imagine that, you know, you more mature or whatnot. I ain't trying to play you and say you old. Have you ever considered <laughs> getting some work done or whatnot? Not at all. And I thank the good Lord that I don't have to. Mm-hmm. I really don't. I'm satisfied with how I've been blessed with how I am. You're you just going to keep it natural. You'll find all that out. Or when you come here for dinner, you'll find all that out. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. So you're going to invite me over there for dinner and everything, huh? Absolutely. They say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his tummy. Yo, you're going to have to hit me up and quit calling up here playing all these games, talking about what you're going to do, what you're going to do and all that for entertainment purposes. I ain't really entertained by all this because if you was really going to do that, I would be on my way over there. But you ain't providing no information, so you need to quit playing all these games. And I appreciate your phone call, but you're going to quit teasing on the man and all that. Got me in my feelings thinking that it's going to be something when it really ain't. And you just trying to do that for the YouTube people and whatnot. And I got so much love for you, my 
my. And that's why I, I want you, you to too. be. I, I love you more, yeah. ma. Yeah. I love you I, too, I, my oh, big daddy. God. Yeah, you, you better quit. You better, you, better you better stop. You better stop. Oh, you better you, start. You, uh, I'm not going to stop. You better start. You you acting that? you acting up, but you gonna be surprised. Oh, I love surprises. You think it's a game, but it's really not. Oh, I am. Um, I'm beyond. You know, Parker's. You know, the Parker's. Those all those games that those fun games that he created that we grew up with. You know, in the seventies. You know, Monopoly. Man, her ass think I'm playing. Yo, Reggie, hand me that KY yeah. jelly and all that, bro. I'm tired oh of God. playing with this what shit, bro. What the heck bro. you need that yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, you think it's a game out here. Yo, hand me them, them oh. goddamn magnums and shit, bro. Oh, no oh, doubt. Oh you playing with a grown-ass man acting like shit funny, man. Ooh, now, what you what you trying to do, man? I'm on my way over there right now. Well, you need to hurry. And, and what's the address? Because I ain't playing. I'm all viagra up. Oh, well, you, I'm uh... I'm right here. You Fuck know, that, man. Time. Yo, hand me the keys to the whip, dude. Ooh. No doubt. Yo, ma, I'm, I'm about to be on my way because you think it's a game till I get there. Jet. Gonna be sweating and shit as soon as I get out of the car, <gasps> man. No doubt. Oh I'm, holly- I'm on my way over there, man. Y'all need to do me a favor, yo. Thought Big Daddy wasn't gonna get real nasty on her ass. When them headboards get to breaking and she get to sweating and shit, reaching for the phone trying to call her doctor or whatnot fuck around that wig start falling off or when all that i've been sipping on that hennessy too her butt cheeks gonna have sweat drops all on them playing with me man i promise you it's about to go all the way down put some hot cheetos on her areolas and lick them shits off man i told her to stop playing with me about to get real freaky deaky in the building man yo let me grab my shit man i'm about to head out Got the condom and shit. About five Viagra pills and whatnot. She got some chocolate syrup for her butt cheeks, man. Yo, y'all gonna have to holler at me later because I got some other stuff I gotta do. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And leave them comments down in the comments section because that's what I be needing. Also, hit them like buttons, y'all, because it's very important. Yo, Gage Gore, a and R. The whole street talk, man. So show him some respect when he come up in the building, man. And for the rest of y'all, hit that cash app. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. Let me see if anybody hit that joint before I get up out of here. Go show shorty. I ain't nobody to be playing with. Hold up. Ain't nobody hit that cash app? Oh, it's like that. Y'all want to watch the video, but don't want to show me some love. Y'all dead wrong for that. But I still got love for y'all anyway, man. Yo, I'm going to holla at y'all tomorrow. That street life, I'm in these streets because I be living that street life. I give y'all the documentations every night. If you subscribe to the channel, you gon' be aight. Cause I'm a boss, so I'm a boss. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe.